Hello, Mike Santa here, and this is my Hero Droid BB-8 from Spin Master. Uh, a lot of people wanted to see what was in the head after I did my breakdown of the body, so today I'm going to show you what's inside the head. What we notice here on the bottom right away is there's four screw holes. Now these screws were triangle head screws, so they look like this. Right, so don't despair. Go out in your shed and you probably have some eighth inch round stock. All I did was I took this to the bench grinder and I grinded out a little triangle. So I, I grinded out the triangle at first. It was too big. I kept making it smaller and smaller and trying to keep keep fitting it into the, into the screw and it wouldn't go until finally I reached the right size. So, it fits fine. So, easy to make these kinds of tools. Once these are four out, then the two halves can separate. There we go. So, I'll just give you a quick look inside. Then explain some of the sensors. So let's start from the top here. What we see is, first of all, the speaker is up here. And you'll notice the speaker holes. That's how they get the volume they, they can get from this BB-8, which is pretty smart. Uh, the speakers usually don't, can't emit anything from these, the sealed head and the sealed body. We have problems with it, but they solved it by just putting it through this, the head. The next thing you'll see here is four microphones. These microphones give let let uh, the BB-8 know which direction the voice is coming from. So if there's a strong voice here, on this one picks up on this microphone, it'll turn its head towards it. And then when you speak again, it'll know that this is indeed where you're speaking from. So they use two microphones here. I'm thinking one is to detect the voice or the sound, and one is to actually record the sound. We'll look at them, we'll take a look at them inside of the BB-8 shell here. So here's the mic, the uh, speaker, and the two microphones in the front. We see the bigger one here, and then the smaller one, and then the other two smaller ones. So that's why I think this one is actually picking up the sound to uh, translate it into something that the board can understand. And up on the top here we see the lights. This is one of the indicator lights in the front that blinks sometimes, the red light and the speaking light when he's doing his little voice. And one of the power indicator lights. And lastly for the top here is the board to turn it on and off and also to select the channel of the receiver. So here we see the main receiver board and the antenna right here for it. So what I believe happens is the transmitter transmits to this board and then this board transmits to the body because something has to tell the body what to do and it transmits it, the signals wirelessly. So that's why the ABC channel selector is on the head and not on the body. Uh, so we, we notice down here on the very bottom underneath this receiver board is a battery, a very small, slim, looks like a lithium ion battery that powers the head. So the power comes from here. It's also where it's charged, it charges that battery that's just sitting underneath the board. So other sensors. Around the rim here, you'll see these small square holes. And these are for picking up infrared. So this comes into play when you are doing the follow me mold mode. And um, it needs to know where you are. So these are picking up infrared signals that are coming from the transmitter. So how do I know where these are? They're right here 
right here and right here. And the way I can find them is a little trick I use with my phone. I put it on the front, uh, the back facing camera. And I turn on the remote to follow me mode. And what I see here is the flashing purple light. Can you see it like that? Okay, so there's the, the flashing purple light telling me that there's something going on, and that's an active infrared uh, emitter. So I looked on all three of these, uh, and all three of these are indeed putting out a signal. The other thing you can do with this is see if your TV remote is working. You can uh, put it up against this camera and you can see that little infrared light flashing where you can't see it in normal camera or normal mode with your eye. So that's how you can tell if your remote is actually working. So the next two things we see here are these two round circles. These are also infrared emitters and they're little infrared LEDs and what, what when they come into play is when you turn this into voice activated mode. So you're saying BB-8 come here and I think these are emitting infrared and bouncing off something and getting picked up back by these receivers to tell it how close it is to something so it doesn't run into some run into things. That's what I think they're for because there's no infrared pickups on this thing. So finally we come to one of the questions I had on my video was to show the wheels better and uh, the wheels all face one direction forward and backwards and they do not spin side to side. This is a nylon kind of material, so it's kind of slippery, and it, uh, it slides along the body. So hopefully you can see that. All three are the same. They do not swivel at all. And these two little guys here, I can feel a little bit of magnetic force, but it's very little, so I, I don't know quite what these are going to do except for maybe um, help it hold on and maybe they can adjust these or during production they adjusted these based on how much pull they actually needed. So uh, these might have been backups for the, for the powerful ones that are right here. So that's about it for my head teardown video for the Spin Master Hero Joy BV-8. I hope this will be helpful to you and um, if you want to do it yourself get to making your triangular tool here and um, I guess we'll see you in the next video.